you know, I'm obviously really proud of uh, what I've been able to achieve so far, but uh, I still I think and feel like I've got a lot of footy left in me. So it's hard to sort of look back when I'm still really looking forward and um, you know, I'm so excited about what you know, we've built over the last you know, handful of years. The position that we find ourselves in now with um, playing really consistent footy and you know, I just love watching the growth of the team and, and just the entire growth of the footy club really from where we were to what we are now. And look, mate, I want to play forever, to be honest. I haven't stuck around for this long to you know sort of finish up prematurely. I want to continue to drive the group and be a part of some success and that's what drives me every single day. So I feel I can keep getting better even though I'm 30 and I want to play to more, like I said before, for as long as I can. And it hasn't been easy. There's times where I probably lost hope, really, but in the end, you know, when I look at it from a holistic perspective, I didn't want to go anywhere else. I wanted to see my journey through, you know, the card that I'd been dealt. There's a bit of irony in playing the dogs this weekend, considering I debuted against them. I still remember lining up on Daniel Cross, actually, so it's funny, you know, how things sort of come full circle, but that's probably what kept me in there, is just believing that at some point I'll be able to bring it back around. And originally it was all about me personally and just trying to survive kind of thing and playing the best footy I could gave me some sort of satisfaction when we get beaten. I, I wanted to be able to walk off the field and be able to hold my head high saying that I gave everything. And Doors with strength and skill gives it to Jones. Nate Jones shrugs one tackle, steadies, shoots and goals. What a start by the Demons. Okay. Now we're hunting in numbers again, Hodge. His spoil only as far as Jones, who improvised beautifully. There's a numerous amount of reasons why I would come to the club every day and want to give my absolute best. And none more so than I really believe in the list we've got, the players that we've got, the coaches that coach us, the club as a whole, because I've been sold you know, seven or eight different stories in across different coaches, but the last five years, there's been genuine commitment and I trust where Melbourne Footy Club is, is going now. You know, I haven't had this much fun playing footy ever. You know, I feel like every win is so rewarding and seeing the growth of players and growth of people around you and being a part of that and contributing to that, you know, that's what's so gratifying for me. And, and uh, yeah, I just want to uh, keep that going really.